Hello everyone, welcome back to our education series. I've made few changes to the way we are going to take this particular series forward. Uh, I'm going to split all the chapters that we are going to cover for this particular series into different parts so that the videos that are made can be of shorter duration. So let us get on with this particular video. Uh, here in this video we are going to discuss chapter 2 of science uh, class 10th and I have basically made a change in the way I am going to name my videos. Uh, my video has been named as 2.1 basically represents that it is chapter 2 and the first video and similarly the uh, next video will be named 2.2 and so on and so forth. So here we are going to discuss acid, bases and salt in this chapter. First of all, if I come to first thing which comes to our mind is basically you know when somebody says acid we normally remember that somebody is having an acidity issue uh, not feeling well and other things right so there are a couple of examples which are mentioned in the CRT book uh, it basically says that sour or bitter taste of food are due to acid and bases which we know and understand your lemon has citric acid it will taste sour and bitter is something when uh, your food rots uh, and when you eat them your pickles or other things if it is rotten it will taste bitter so it is basically an indication that bases are formed in that right so there's one particular case that if somebody develops acidity what kind of treatment are you going to do would you give them lemon juice you, would you give them vinegar or would you give them a baking soda solution the answer is giving them a baking soda solution is the best solution, uh, best particular remedy that you can give to that person. Next is litmus test. So you must be reading it in the literature that somebody appearing in a class, you know, uh, or an exam or a test is, and that particular test is a litmus test. You must be hearing it about political people as well. So what is a litmus test? Where does this word comes from? The litmus test comes from the fact that uh, there's an indicator which is basically applied to a paper and given for chemical testing and it basically changes its color when it interacts with different kind of acids or bases. So a litmus paper will turn red when it is in touch with an acid and it will turn blue when it comes in contact with a base. Litmus is a natural indicator extracted from lichen a plant belonging to division Thallopantha. When, nat when neutral, its color is purple. When it comes in contact with acid, it turns red. When it comes in contact with the base, it turns blue. Please remember the word Thallopantha. This might just come as a trick question in your paper and is very important for you to remember. Very simple. Thallopantha, let me turn red. When it, come, when it comes in contact with acid, turns blue when it comes in contact with bases. A trick to remember that is acid. We generally perceive acid as a dangerous uh, thing and red represents danger. That phase you can remember and the opposite color for that is blue. So now moving on to next slide. What other indicators we know of? There are different indicators that we have turmeric is there you might have seen at your home that if there's a turmeric stain on a cloth and if you try to you know wash it it turns reddish brown when soaked because soap is a basic uh, material so when in contact with base turmeric turns red similarly red cabbage leaves are there uh, you can extract red cabbage you can go to market just get a red cabbage uh, extract its sap uh, and put it you know in in contact with different kind of substances you will realize that it keeps changing color it keeps changing color uh, which is about you know crimson red to a light yellow color and red to yellow happens from acid to bases so this is for you to remember that this is how things happen right so this image that you see on the screen uh, will help you remember that just look at the transition it is as it is moving from you know a pH of 0 to a pH of 14 
and pH is a scale which is used to measure acidity or basicity of a substance. We'll learn about it later in this chapter. There are other natural indicators. There's a, these are different flowers which respond to different uh, kind of uh, you know materials or maybe environment in a different manner and they basically change their color. So if you plant this, these colors in different kind of uh, soil conditions, uh, which might range from an acidic soil condition to a alkaline soil condition. When I say alkaline, it basically means base. Uh, alkaline is another term which, is, which can be used instead of uh, base. So if the soil condition is acidic or alkaline and accordingly this, uh, these flowers keep changing their color and it is used by a lot of um, you know, hobby hobbyists who basically are into flowering and gardening to basically create a bouquet of flowers with different kind uh, or different color of the same flower. And they keep adding chemicals and changing the soil uh, alkalinity or acidity, acidity, and hence by doing that they are able to get different colors of same flower. We can see that uh, you know three of the main flowers which do that is geranium, hydrangea and petunia and you can look at the color right geranium is normally red in acidic soil and when the soil is basic or alkaline it is purple in color similarly hydrangea is blue in color in acidic soil and turns pinkish in basic soil and petunia to begin with is again blue or you know a darker shade of blue in acidic soil and turns a little uh, a mixture of white and pink uh, in a basic kind of uh, soil condition so now let's move on to next slide acid and base indicators they are synthetic indicators as well which are available in the market and very widely used uh, in labs for experiments because they are more accurate in nature uh, their quality can be controlled uh, and other reasons uh, methyl orange and phenolphthalein are two very commonly used indicators in your senior classes in the school you will be running a lot of uh, chemical test which using which you will be uh, you will be basically trying and determining uh, ph value for different kind of substances and materials and you will be making use of these there are different kind of uh, experiment and apparatus which are available which you will be using and as mentioned in the slide, indicator tell us about the substance pH level, acidic or basic nature, by change in color. There are few substances whose order changes in acidic or basic medium. Those are called olfactory indicators. Olfactory indicator is again a very small word which is suddenly mentioned in this chapter uh, in a very obscure manner. Somebody might just overlook. Just remember that olfactory indicators like onion, clove, vanilla extract, uh, react differently in different kind of medium uh, it is mentioned in a very you know a subtle up, obscure manner uh, so it is important that you keep these things in mind just like division thalopatha of um, algae from which litmus uh, extract is extracted and used for different kind of acidic and basic tests so uh, here I am done with the first portion which is uh, about testing of the acidic and basic nature of substances and how different kind of indicators are used to judge whether a particular substance is acidic or basic in nature. So these are the references, please go through them, uh, take a look at all these materials, there are more material available online, you should go and check out, uh, you know, for better understanding. Uh, and the more you understand the beauty with science is uh, you score better because it comes naturally to you remembering can happen only to a limit it will not happen always and do like and subscribe to my channel i'll try to be a little more consistent with the videos that i'm making uh, your feedbacks your likes and comments uh, encourages me to put in this effort for you all thank you